What is up YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to The Launder Legacy. If you are new here, I'm Connor Launder. I'm 17 years old and I'm an aspiring bodybuilder who's documenting my journey on YouTube for you guys to see and you're going to come along with me. I started this series, The Launder Legacy, to compete in the summer 2020, but as we all know, Corona fucked that up for me. So we've pushed it back a year to summer 2021. And we're gonna continue the series. We left it on episode 14, so welcome to episode 15, back with a bang. Got some crazy videos. These next two videos, both raw workouts with the one and only Marvin Bain. If you know who Marvin Bain is, you know that these videos are seriously good. They are seriously good. So I hope you sit back, you enjoy the video, you drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you haven't already to join the family, join the journey, and hit the bell note, the bell button to turn on notifications so that you never miss an episode. I'm gonna try and get as consistent as I can with this whole YouTube content. <sighs> Without Further ado, let's go straight in to episode 15. Thank you for rejoining us. Let's go. I don't know how well you can hear me. It is hello windy, but we're back in London. We're at Metroflex uh, training push. Marvin today. I'm gonna do like a real edit. Oh, he's just showed up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait, wait. My legs are fucked. <laughs> oh my days. We must say it. Right, okay, so in this bit, I'm just going to do a voiceover because the wind was so bad you couldn't even hear what we were saying. Um, basically, the day before we filmed this, me and Marvin trained legs together at Matroflex and we had a videographer. Uh, LL Fitness, Pierre, shout out to you if you're watching this. I'll put your link in the description. You guys go check him out on Instagram. He came and filmed the session for Marvin's new series on his YouTube channel, which is going to be called For The Mass. Episode 1 literally came out this Saturday, so yesterday, if this video is going up on Sunday. Uh, again, link in the description for that. Go and watch it. Honestly, probably the best video I've ever been in or been involved with. So go check that out. And yeah, let's carry on with the video. I love this shit. I live it. I breathe it. I'm fucking so fascinated with business. It's very difficult. But I don't think that I would be in this position. I know I wouldn't be in this position if I never did the things I did, met the people I've met, and built the relationships that I have. Like, no fucking way. I will pull the good from every situation that I've ever been in, even if it was fucking horrible. Because, you know, where I'm at, I, I, I'm happy with who I am. The, the will and the desire to succeed and to do something spectacular is, is a feeling that I strive for constantly. I fucking love it. When I fail, uh, it's okay. Does it hurt? Fuck yeah, it sucks. But I don't use that as a reason to give up. I'm like, okay, it didn't fucking work. Did I lose a lot of money? Yeah. Did I lose this? Yeah, sure. Whatever the fuck it is, it is. But if you don't go after it, You'll never know. Smooth 
biggest smith machine I've used in my entire life. <laughs> I like to tread on the cockiness, confidence line. And you kind of have to be that way when you want to really succeed. People are going to misunderstand you because you want to be the best. Never apologize for being successful. Never. I was being interviewed not too long ago and they said, Philip, how many Mr. Olympias do you want to win? Because it looks that you're going to just spank them this September in Vegas. And I said, I want to win 10. They're like, oh, 10? I was like, yeah. You don't get to tell me what my goals are. You just don't. You can say it and I'm not going to allow it to penetrate my consciousness. So you're damn right. I said I'm going to win 10. Do they even have haters? They don't. Why? Because they're not the champion, man. They only nitpick the best. They only criticize the best. They do. In all sports, they do. When you train with purpose, you dive with purpose, pose with purpose, even your music has purpose, you put yourself in a better position to win. Everybody talks about, like, well, if Phil slips, they're not talking about if Phil Heath actually is 100%. You want everything to be big, round, separated, striated, dry, hard. I'm less motivated because I won. If anything, I'm more motivated than ever. Phil's biggest threat is Phil. I honestly think uh, he's the only one who can beat himself. If he comes in 100%, I'm sorry. He pretty much shuts the door. Fucking coming. I'm coming ready. Uh, Back again with a voiceover. So, as you can see, footage started to drop off towards the end of the session. That's purely because we were so into the session, the intensity was so high, we kind of just wanted to focus on training and not getting the right angle or whatever. It is a lot harder when you're training without a videographer. Um, we were in rush for time because the gym was about to close, so we kind of had to rush anyway, so cameras did get put away. As you can see here, we did an incline chest press machine. We did a top set and a back off like we did on most exercises. This was my top set. Um, we then moved on to a cable straight bar push down. Just hit some triceps. And we then moved on to a cable fly, like a decline cable fly. Felt, felt really, really good this actually. Um, not having two cables the whole way through lockdown was, was hard, but being back on it felt amazing. So I'm just gonna do some random posing here. I just want to, want to say something about my physique, so I'm actually really happy where we're, with where I'm at at the moment. We're currently reversing out of the diet and progressing into a bulking phase. So I'm very, very excited to see where we're going to get because strength-wise, I've come out of lockdown a lot stronger than I was before. And I'm just excited to see how big we're going to get and where we're going to go and just to achieve the goals next year. But anyway, we're going to end off the video here. I hope you did enjoy. Please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all of that jazz. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.